Hi, I'm Doug Lehman, Video Brand Ambassador, breaking it down in layman's terms for Barb Giamacco and your Social Centered Selling Moment of the Day. Implementing a social selling strategy, will it guarantee you more qualified prospects, better lead generation, increase sales, and generate more revenue? Will it? The answer is, well it depends. And this leads me to a blog post from Barb Giamacco on the topic of implementing social selling, implementing a social selling strategy. Now Barb gets into a lot of detail about where social selling fits in with the overall landscape of the sales process. And we're going to bring Barb on later on in this video for her own insight. But I'm going to lay it out to you in layman's terms. Now Barb's blog post starts out with a quote from another sales blog. And I'm going to read this to you quickly. I know reading is fundamental. Text and audio is not as engaging as video, but bear with me because we're going to share some insights on this quote from a blog post. The correct implementation of social selling gets your team appointments inside targeted prospects. These meetings are net new sales opportunities you wouldn't have had otherwise. This drives an increased number of qualified buyers of your product into your funnel. Your team sells more and revenue increases. That's a pretty bold statement on social selling as it pretty much takes over the whole sales process from lead generation, qualifying prospects, increasing revenue, and generating more sales. Now in layman's terms, I want to attack this quote in several different ways. First of all, does social selling guarantee new net meetings, getting the appointment? Well, it helps, and it does depend on that depends on the quality of the sales rep. You may have the best social profile with your company. Your individual sales reps may be leveraging LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, all the social channels to engage customers. And they're actually engaging and looking for trigger points online to qualify prospects and to engage prospects and share value. But at the end of the day, it all lies with the sales rep. Does the sales rep have the ability to pick up the phone or do a presentation to get the meeting? Social and social networking sites and tools can only take you so far. Does implementing a social selling strategy increase the number of qualified prospects and buyers in your sales funnel? It depends. But first of all, let's talk about qualifying prospects. You have to validate that within your own sales organization. What is a buyer and how do they qualify? Questions like, are you on the vendor list? Are you interacting with the decision maker? Is this an opportunity worth pursuing? Now, this all goes on with the sales rep. They have to determine that. Social networking sites and tools can help, but at the end of the day, the sales rep has to make the decision on qualifying valid prospects. To sum it all up in layman's terms, social selling, social is a tool in your toolbox. It's an enabler in a sales process. It fits in sales, especially with today's buyer and the shift in how today's buyers buy. Now I'm gonna bring out Barb Giamanco, the voice of reason, to have her share her own insight on implementing social selling as part of the sales process. Barb? Well, thanks, Doug. I think you did a pretty good job of summing it up in layman's terms and always appreciate you helping me get the message out about what we believe social selling is really all about. You did a great job articulating what I absolutely believe. First of all, it doesn't really matter how well crafted that LinkedIn profile is. That's not going to guarantee you anything. Uh, what it will do for you is it will, hopefully, if you've done your job well, uh, bring more buyers to you and those that do find you uh, will have something very compelling to consider before reaching out to you. But for someone to guarantee that your sales team is going to get more appointments because you have great looking profiles, well, that's just not true at all. Uh, the other thing too is even if you have a really well crafted strategy, it's all about the implementation and that won't necessarily increase the number of qualified buyers in the sales funnel. That's only going to happen if your salespeople know how to qualify opportunities. Somehow this is constantly overlooked in these social selling sound bites. 
Now, will your team secure more net new meetings with targeted prospects? Well, there's a high likelihood that they will. Uh, we have customers that are seeing 30, 40, 50 percent increase in their ability to secure those meetings. Again, though, technology only enables. At, at some point, great selling has to kick in, and it really depends on you know that individual who is selling. So, you know, as I've said in my blog post, it's it's all about the blinding flash of the obvious, right? Salespeople sell more and revenue increases if they actually know how to sell. And so your next mission, Doug, is to help our listeners understand why selling isn't telling. So thanks for listening, everyone, to our social-centered selling moment. Now, back to you, Doug. And there you have it. Barb Giamacco, the voice of reason. I'm Doug Lehman, putting it to you in layman's terms, your social-centered selling moment of the day. Remember to connect, Collaborate and close. Thank you.